Hello Virgo and welcome to Appalachian Tarot. I am so glad that you decided to join me for this first reading ever uh, for your sign. This is my first week doing readings for YouTube so I'm very pleased that you're here. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a like and subscribe if you're feeling particularly kind today. I'd appreciate it. Let's help grow the channel. And as always, this is a collective reading for the sign of Virgo, so whatever that means to you, you are welcome here, but remember that as a collective reading, not everything will resonate, so take what does and leave the rest, it's just for someone else who's watching. All right, we're going to begin this reading here with a Seasons of the Oracle uh, card. I'm using the Beltane deck today. Uh, and, all right, let's take this card here that sort of popped over. It is cow. Okay. You got cow. May the embrace of all, may the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming. Oh, Virgo, what a beautiful card. And the cow, of course, wearing a crown of flowers because, of course, we are in springtime now and so flowers are finally starting to bloom let's go to the book and see what it says since not everyone's familiar with this oracle deck your keyword is nurturing okay cows represent all things related to a happy home stability nourishment and the quote-unquote mother archetype a cow's size may seem overwhelming but you cannot help but feel a sense of comfort when close by these gentle spirits like the love of a mother, you should seek out cow spirit when you need a loving but tough push. Cow encourages you to do all you can to build a strong foundation for your goals. Your situation requires you to return to the basics of nurturing and support before moving forward. Do you have the basic requirements for what you are seeking? If you are starting a business or buying a home, do you know what paperwork needs to be filled out or what supplies you may need? If you are starting a new job, do you have all of the skills needed to be considered qualified? Cal does not invite criticism, and neither should you. You are simply being guided to examine whether or not you have all that you need to feel comfortable and safe. Sometimes you have to return to the beginning to understand where you're going, though be warned. If you continue to walk this path as is, you may be in danger of building on a cracked foundation. Left unrepaired, you may find yourself in greater trouble further down the road. Okay. All right, Virgo, this is a time for you to be doing some work, to be laying a foundation to build your dreams upon. It's entirely possible, but you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. And so you need to really take a, take a self-inventory about whether or not you have everything you need in order to succeed. Um, this is, of course, springtime. This is a season of planting, and I think that it makes sense that cow would come up here for you because I, I, I really get the feeling that we are sort of collectively entering a brand new cycle with the coming of spring uh, in a way that doesn't necessarily happen every spring. I have this, this sort of intuitive feeling that this spring in particular is the beginning of a new cycle for me personally, but I think for a lot of us. And so... Virgo, I, I really do believe that this is the uh, universe telling you now is the time to start planning so that you can uh, reap what you sow at a later date. Let's go to the tarot. We're going to go ahead and do a traditional Celtic cross here to clarify this. What does Virgo need to know about building this new foundation and about uh, starting from the bottom up so that they have all the, the tools they need in order to succeed in this new life in this new season uh, a season that from the looks of it right now is going to be a season of abundance for you so that's some great news Virgo I'm very very happy about that I'm very happy to be able to tell you that alrighty I like to shuffle these until the universe tells me not to there's usually a sign either they get stubborn with shuffling or a candle will sizzle or something happens to make me know that it's time to stop so far, I'm not getting that, though. Bear with me. Um, no? Still wants to go. Okay, the universe really wants to mix it up. This time. Um, all right, maybe one more time? Yeah, that did it. 
All right. We're going to start out with where you're at right now, and there are two cards here that I see, and they are actually sort of <laughs> counterintuitive. All right, you have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Um... It looks like, I mean, you have like this sort of happy beginning, but also this really painful ending. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm seeing that there's some sort of situation here that's really left you defeated and everything, but that you are also um, kind of glad that it's over. Like, there's a relief here. Whatever kind of situation you were in, and I don't know exactly what kind of situation that was yet, um, it took a lot out of you. Um, you're kind of happy it's over. On the other hand, this could be that you were very happy. The way that it fell with the, the Four of Wands first followed by the Ten of Swords kind of indicates to me Virgo, that maybe you were in an incredibly happy situation and now you're having to build from the ground up again. Maybe you, you lost a lot of what you worked for. Possibly you uh, are going through a separation or a divorce or you've lost a job and you have to rebuild and you're beginning to think, um, you know, th whatever it was, this, this wasn't something you wanted to end, but it, it has ended. Um, and you're having to rebuild from the ground up which could be why the cow card is here but what well, let's keep going you know let's see what's blocking you okay the knight of wands yeah um i think a lot of stuff has come at you all at once um and it's caused you to feel very scattered and very Like you've been pulled in multiple directions, um, almost like a the image of somebody being drawn and quartered came into my mind. Uh, I won't explain to you what that means. If you don't know, you can Google it. But it's gruesome. Um, I don't like this at all. Whatever this is, you just feel like it has been very, very taxing. Um, this is a an energy of of a lot of things happening all at once which kind of squares away with the fact that you have a very happy card and a very sad card indicating you in right now and the candle just sizzled and when the candle sizzles that indicates to me that the universe is egging me on and telling me I'm in the right direction so whatever this is I feel like there's been a lot thrown at you lately some of it good some of it bad um but ultimately it has just drained you and I'm getting the feeling, I mean, I'd be very interested to see if the tower comes up in this reading because I'm getting tower energy here where something dramatic has happened or many dramatic things have happened to sort of catch you off guard and to hurt you and to sort of take away your joy. But you're now in a, in a place of rebuilding and that's not necessarily all a bad thing. I mean, that, that joy in beginning again is also coming through. Like you kind of understand that this needed to happen. It's just a lot going on here, Virgo, and I don't necessarily know what that is. You probably do if you're if you're watching. I, I, if you feel comfortable, chime in in the comments and and let me know what has been happening in your life. But um, there's a lot going on right now, and it's causing you to have to start over again. And um, that sucks, but it's also a blessing in disguise, perhaps. Let's see what's in your immediate past. Okay, Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah, there's this feeling of being overwhelmed here. Um, and of things maybe not being all that they seemed. Maybe things... Maybe... I'm getting the feeling that for some of you... You thought you were in a very happy relationship. Um, only to find out that it wasn't. Um, the other person walked away and it sort of left you stunned. You weren't expecting that. Maybe you were laid off or let go from your job. 
and you weren't expecting it. Whatever it is, there's the energy of the unexpected that's coming up. Like, it's just something completely came out of left field. You didn't see that happening. Um, I really get the feeling that this is more about a relationship than I do about anything else. But let's keep going. What's in your immediate future if nothing changes? The chariot. Okay, yeah, you don't have a choice. Yeah, you're going to be moving on <laughs> from whatever this is. I mean, this is over. Whatever this is, this is over. Um, you are going to be leaving this situation behind because you have no choice. You have to leave it behind. You know, this is, uh, again, uh, water energy. Water is the, the sort of plane of emotions. And so, yeah, I'm really thinking because you have water energy in your past with the cups, your immediate past and in your immediate future, if nothing changes, with the chariot, that this is, this is something, this is a relationship. Doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. It could be friendship. It could be someone in your family. Maybe you're having to move out of, you know, maybe, maybe you've been living with relatives or something and that situation is no longer tenable, but you're kind of scared about what that's going to be. I don't, I don't know. There's some kind of conflict here with somebody you, you love. Um, and it has come out of nowhere Things are happening very, very quickly, and it's left you very confused. It's left you very much overwhelmed with, oh my God, what do I do now? That kind of energy, sort of this panic of not having a plan or a foundation, but you're going to be moving forward whether you like it or not. The universe is telling you, like, this is over, like, you have to move forward here. Um, all right, let's see what you're conscious of. The hangman. Yeah, you understand that you have to just let go of whatever this is. You, you, you're, what I'm telling you, I don't believe is any secret here. You're very conscious of the fact that things are different than they were before. Um, even if you're not happy about the fact that things are different, you accept that they are, you understand that, look, I, there's, there's no going back. I have to let this go and move forward. Um, you are very zen about it in that regard. That doesn't mean you're not sad or even happy, but like you are accepting it. I, this is an energy of acceptance. Like, you might love what's happening. You might not like what's happening. I, I am not getting a sense. I think for most of you, it's you're not thrilled with what has happened here. Um, and that you do feel very caught off guard, but you are sort of accepting your circumstances. I mean, like, all right, this is the hand I've been dealt. Like, I have to play it. I don't have a choice. What are you not conscious of? Like, what's in your subconscious that's driving this situation? Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're actually very sad. You, I think many of you... Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, Virgo. I, I, I feel like a lot of you are, are feeling very much adrift right now. Like, this has just completely caught you off guard. And you are possibly, even if you... I mean, you accept the situation... For what it is, you understand that the nothing can repair it. That it is time to move on and to build from a new foundation, as the cow card indicates here. But then you have this feeling of being adrift. Like there's no, you have no plan. You have no foundation to build upon. That's what the cow card is here for. It's it's you have to start building that foundation. But it's like the foundation has been ripped right out from under you it's a scary time i this is a card of I, I i it's 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 anxiety and fear is what i'm feeling here and um you know not having a plan and and feeling like you've lost something that you really cherish something that brought you a lot of joy there's a lot of sadness here you do have to give yourself time to grieve that. Even as you accept it and you move into this new new phase, understand that that grieving this this situation or grieving this loss, whether it's the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job, 
uh, the loss of a friendship, I really get the feeling that this is the loss of some sort of interpersonal relationship, whether it is with a friend or a, a lover. Um, you have to give yourself time to grieve and understand that grieving isn't a linear process, that even as you're moving forward, even as you're building this new foundation, even as you are accepting where you're at and trying to strive to make the best future you can, starting over at the ground up, that there are going to be days where you're just very sad about what you've lost and that that's okay. Um, that's just part of the healing process. Your control over this situation, though, is the Seven of Pentacles, which is a very, very good sign. Um, because this tells me that you are someone who is willing to put in the hard work in order to do what needs to be done, that you are somebody who is very much willing to take control of the situation to the best of their ability and to, you know, start rebuilding your life. Um, you know, you're somebody who's looking to the future already. Like, I, I don't get the feeling that you are somebody who is dwelling in the past, at least not on this. You are somebody who's like, all right, what's done is done. And, and I'm getting that feeling from, uh, the, the hanged man here where you are just very much in acceptance of this situation you know this is your conscience this is what you are aware of and you are very much sort of like all right you're, it's practical there's a practicality about you uh virgo that is that is coming through here and i think that's going to serve you very well um you are willing to do what needs to be done in order to rebuild your life and to find your your inner peace and to, to make yourself happy and that's great the outside world Okay. The outside influences on this is the Queen of Cups. Um, so this is definitely, somebody has, you know, this is definitely telling me that this is interpersonal relationships. I really do believe that. Um, I'm going to move this cow card over just a little so that I can continue the Celtic cross spread. But, um, okay, Virgo. Um, you've been hurt. I get that. But... The world and the universe is ready to help you move forward. You have more people in your corner than you realize. This is incredibly uh, positive energy overall. Um, it's a card of compassion, of kindness, of empathy, of healing. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who just recognize that you've been done dirty and are ready to help you uh, in any way that they can. So don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, as you're beginning, you don't have to build this foundation on your own. You don't have to rebuild your life on your own. There are people you can turn to who are willing to help you. And they may not be people you know. This could be, you know, going to a mutual aid society uh, just for something as, you know, simple as I need to buy, I mean, baby formula and laundry detergent are the first two things that popped into my head. You know, so maybe, maybe you need financial help and there are people out there who are compassionate who are willing to help you with no strings attached. It's just a mutual aid, you know. Um, but this could also just be people, you know, friends, family, colleagues who are willing to help you through whatever difficult situation this is that has completely caught you off guard and, and, and rocked your world. Um, what are your hopes and fears? Oh, the tower. Oh my gosh. I knew this card was going to come up. I said it earlier. Okay, and it's reversed. You are very, very, very um, scared of this change. That doesn't mean that you, you know, courage is often viewed as being the absence of fear. In reality, courage is the presence of fear and moving forward despite that fear. And I get the feeling that that's kind of where you're at with the chariot here, with the hanged man here. The hanged man here is indicating acceptance of the situation. The chariot here is indicating that you're going to have to move forward no matter what, and you recognize that. Um, and now you have the tower reversed here, which to me is telling me that you are, uh, you're, you're, you're scared of this new change. That there, this is a scary time in your life, Virgo. Um, whatever this is that has completely caught you off guard and sort of destroyed your life. I mean, if you look, for those of you who aren't familiar, this is what the Tower card looks like. It is a card of sudden destruction, all right? And reversed, the, the, that meaning doesn't really alter. 
it just means that there's an added level of um, fear here. But it does say that, I mean, the, 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 the violent sudden change meaning doesn't alter. What does, also, what does alter, though, is the fact that there is this feeling of you averting disaster. So perhaps this change is something that you're sort of relieved about. Like there's like this hope, hopefulness that's entering you along with this fear and anxiety that you're just kind of like, okay, well, this is a chance to, to really start to live my life on my own terms and to, to do things over again. You're getting a fresh start. And so there is a hopefulness to this card as well. But as I said earlier, I, I, I was not, I'm not surprised that the tower card appeared somewhere in this spread because I definitely was getting tower energy from the very, very beginning. Um, you are going through a very difficult time, but it's a time that I think is, you know, divinely inspired. Like, I think that this is something that is, is a fixed point in time. Like, you can't change it. You are always meant to experience this, and that means that you have the tools in order to move forward and to really succeed and that's where this cow comes in you know this is a card of you having the skills and the abilities to build up and you may need to go back and get more job training or you may need to work on yourself in order that your next relationship is more successful but you have the ability to do that and right here the seven of pentacles tells me that not only do you have the ability but you have the work ethic to to, to do what needs to be done so um you know, while I, I recognize that this is a very scary time because it is a very sudden change, I also want you to understand that y you have the tools and the capacity to make a success of this new phase of your life. And also with the Queen of Cups here and the outside influences that there are people and organizations and the universe as well, all of these things are coming together. They want to help you. There's a lot of love for you here. I think I, you've been done dirty. I, I just get the feeling, Virgo, that you, you've been done real dirty by someone um, or something and that everyone kind of recognizes that, like, you are in the right here. Like, <laughs> what's the most likely outcome? The Emperor. Yes. All right. What a wonderful card to, to sort of wrap up this reading. You got the Emperor. You are going to emerge from this more powerful, more respected, more confident, more secure than you have ever been. This is the start of a beautiful new beginning. Um, oh, what is that movie or that show? Um, I, there's a show or a movie where a character is broken up with and it's very sort of out of the blue like their entire foundation in life is sort of shown to be a lie and then it is the start of this beautiful new journey where they end up happier than they ever could have been with their with their ex um grace and frankie that tv show that was on netflix popped into my mind um that's not the one i was thinking of but that's a really good example where like these uh elderly women's husbands come out as gay and they've been having an affair and they're going to leave their wives for each other. And then the two women have to rebuild their lives. Um, it is a, uh, oh, uh, Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin star in it. It's really funny. Um, but I, I kind of get the feeling of something like that. Like, holy shit, this is not what you expected at all. This is not what you wanted. Um, but that you're going to make the best of it and by doing that and making the best of it you are going to step into your own power and become more uh more powerful more respected happier and more in control of your own life and destiny than you've ever been before so that's a wonderful way to end this reading i mean I i'm sorry that you're going through this this is a very tough time i mean whatever it is it's completely upended your life but um trust in the universe and trust in yourself you know, that, that things are going to work out. Um, I know things are hard right now, but uh, they're going to be okay. And you're going to end up in a much better place than you're at um, or that you've been at. All right. So I just want to wrap this reading up with uh, an Oracle of Delphi card. I like these because, first of all, they're just really pretty to look at. 
But second of all, they're very optimistic cards, and I try to like to end my readings on an optimistic note. Um, and okay, you got, that was faster than I thought it was going to be, faith, hope, anticipate, aspire, foresee. Have faith in yourself, Virgo, and have faith in the universe. Trust. You know, let yourself dream this new phase of your life where you are building this brand new uh, reality and you are starting from the ground up. You are, you are beginning to lay the foundation uh, that has been ripped out from under you. You have to lay a new foundation. But in doing so, that gives you the chance to reimagine your life and yourself as whatever it is you want to be. And I just think that's a beautiful place to end this reading is whatever the situation is where you are, you've been blindsided and hurt, just, just remain as optimistic as possible. Go ahead and accept the fact that, you know, healing is not a linear process, that there are days where you're going to be much sadder than, than you would like, or days where, you know, you go five days in a row where you're doing pretty well and then something happens that reminds you of this past situation that just brings you down, that's okay. You know, there's no timetable here. You are building from the ground up. And, you know, whether that takes you five days, five months, five years, just keep going because, you know, have faith because your ultimate reality here is that you're going to end up much more powerful than you've ever been. So, Virgo, I hope this reading helped. If it did resonate with you, please give me a like uh, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss next week's reading. Um, and take care of yourselves, Virgo. Good luck with this new, new life you're beginning.